Hello and welcome back. It's Double O Debbie, and this is episode. Oh my god, fifty nine. <laughs> it's episode fifty nine of my Direwolf twenty one dot eighteen. Let's play. And today, uh, we got a lot of stuff to do. Still, um, there. I was able to fix my. Uh, I don't know what you would call that thing. My clay... My claymation. <laughs> um, so, I got a couple of things. I went to go get some more source for uh, my clay creation. And I noticed something. Something is going on down here that isn't good. So have to take action. Oh, oh she died. <laughs> my chest, my drawers are full for rotten flesh and bone. We got 2,000 in there, so I made a couple of upgrades for this guy. And <laughs> yeah, I didn't know this at first, but you can't access the uh, the little gooey for um, for your upgrades uh, by clicking on the front, but you can do it from the sides or the little frame around the edge. So that's pretty cool. Get get those upgrades in. Um, I may need to put. Um, Point upgrades on those. I'm not 100 certain if it's necessary to have more than 16,000 items of one kind. Look at look at all those gold nuggets. I have to like. Oh yeah, let's just uh, let's take all of them. Check that out. Look at all this gold. Um, I can take and convert those up too and get uh, some gold bars. So I came down, oh my goodness, I just put these down and now they're full. Boy. Okay, so that should have cleared up. Well, it's trying to clear it up. I may need to, I was going to say, I may need to upgrade the extractor on here uh, but it's not going to be like this all the time only if it gets back up look at that we got iron swords in there i did that oh i guess not no, we can add iron swords to that bleach i think i have Room for bronze, do I? Dude, that's supposed to be bronze too. I need another trash can. Oh boy. I may need to add like a couple of trash cans to get bronze armor now. Um, and all these dimlets. Because uh, that's a lot of room. Oh my goodness. Like they're all simple things. Part of me wants to keep those, but. I thought I had. Okay, it's probably not sorting these out yet because it's going to go through all these guys up there. But we got all of that. Okay, yeah, these aren't full. Like, we do have 1.4k. We might need to get a couple of upgrades for those guys. Everything else is looking good. Uh, we might need to get the arrows and string of it. Oh, gunpowder is at 1.5k. Yeah. 
Um, I might, instead of having like an upgrade for this to hold more, I might try to set up some sort of autocraft system that will uh, take the excess of the ender pearl fragments and turn them into ender pearls because you know we need more right and i might want to get another upgrade with this one another copper upgrade that would be cool uh so let me go show you what i got going on down here um it did not take me terribly long to figure out what was going on in this thing. I did a little bit of rearranging. Oh, um, I know why it looks empty. Because it didn't have any source jars down. So, my problem was the fan here was not set to blow through. It was actually sucking in and that's why it wasn't converting anything to clay. Uh, so once I figured that out, it, it started working like a champ. Um, and then, of course, I had to reverse uh, the belt because when I reversed uh, the fan, by adding that uh, gearbox, it reversed this and made it, the belt go backwards. So I had to reverse that to make it go forward again. And yeah, it's pretty. I probably don't even need to, to have this extra set of gears on there, but uh, it'll make it go a little bit faster. Okay. Because this only takes, uh, oh, I don't have my goggles on. But it is taking the sand and converting it into clay. We got 95 clay balls. This is not a hundred percent chance. It doesn't convert one sand into one ball. It's only a twenty percent chance that the sand will get converted into a clay ball. So it's not very good at all. <laughs> so we got uh, a few of these things to take away. Um, I did want to. Okay, I did make the singularity tank. That somebody uh, mentioned for the creosote. So I got that. I also made an engineer's multimeter uh, to figure out what was wrong with uh, with my uh, advanced against. Sometimes it ports me all the way up here, sometimes it does not. Awesome. Okay. So. Um, we were going to go take a little gander over here at our uh, immersive engineering Water wheel station thingamabobber. Get wrecked. Um, let's put those in there. I also had to put a copper upgrade. No, I actually I didn't put a copper upgrade, but a void upgrade on the hobble uh, barrel <laughs> or drawer at the base because the cobble barrel was full apparently uh so that's no good all right so um this setup wasn't working because i didn't put connectors on top once i put connectors on top it worked like a charm um i had to add the hopper to to get it to feed the stuff in Apparently we're out of charcoal, and we need some more. Uh, but we got tons of steel now, baby. <laughs> we got it. Um, let's see. I'm trying to remove stuff that 
I don't need any more. We got the belt, the propeller, the shaft, the cogs, the casing. We're going to leave that there just in case. We got the clay and the clay balls. Um, we're going to keep that there too. Uh, now, uh, now that we have our uh, pipes upgraded, our energy pipes, we can think about upgrading our uh, our dynamos. Oh my goodness! It just—it's so dark down here. It makes me want to sleep. Uh, but here's my take. Um, we got this fluid pump, which also needs electricity that will pump all the creosote out into the tank. Um, so I need to make this guy, which takes some fluid pipes. It just looks like a lot of iron, nothing too terrible, iron and a copper. And some more iron. So uh, yeah, we can just get back to base and get some iron plates going. And then uh, later on, they'll be ready for us. And we can make the pump and set it up and see how it works. Uh, it does take power, so We'll have to hook up a little uh, connector to it. So, and I, I think we'll have to have a wire. I don't know if I have the wire over there. I'm just going to put half a stack of iron in the multi servo press. That should be plenty to get that, uh, that pump going. And yes. Um, I still am working on getting my test kitchen set up. I don't, I don't like it that uh, I'm having to dig into my hallway here. <laughs> I have to put these blocks here to cover it up. I'm thinking maybe I need to get some sort of plates like is that possible can i just get they're like cobble plates there's a panel and there's a trap door now trap doors i know can be placed on a wall so maybe if we've got a few of these can like go over there and fix that because it's really bugging me um now oh that's the wrong maybe if i put it here sort of place it on the oh no <laughs> that's not working um I can take those blocks down from the inside It just really bugs me to have to walk by those and run into them all the time. Put that there. Um. There's no other way to do it other than that. And um, it's like I can see 
leave that like that. That looks so much better. <laughs> that looks so much better. Uh, it's it still sticks out a little bit, but it's not awful. So now we got something else to carry around with this. <laughs> That's cool though. Um, I, it was setting up the stocking mode for my kitchen in here. Got a couple of these guys, laser nodes, going back there. Um, uh oh, good. <laughs> now I gotta go and fix all that again. Anyway, uh -oh. anyway, I put stocking well item parts in here with a counting filter and told them to keep like 64 of all my different items in there. Squeeze in there. I think it's the west side. It's got all that stuff in there. Now at the moment, that is like everything for almost everything. Like I've got potatoes and carrots and wheat and cassava, but everything else I don't have a stack for. Oh, it looks like I just got some spinach and some tomatoes. Uh, but everything else other than these are like non food items and stuff. Uh, <laughs> got some bamboo going too. And I made a little drawer for our mage bloom too. <clears throat> everything is clear. Oh, we got a poisonous potato. That's crazy. So I'm I'm getting to where when I come over here, I can start seeing recipes over here. We can make uh, some basic items with like tortillas and steak. I don't want to cook the steak uh, because you can use a knife on the cutting board and uh, basically double your meat. It, it cuts it in half and you get two pieces of meat that you can make something out of. So it's pretty cool. Chew away. Um, so I was thinking I need some thing to eat. Ooh, fried rice sounds pretty cool. It's a full course meal. Ratatouille. I bet with all the vegetables we have, we could probably make ratatouille. Oh, this is done in the cooking pot with a bowl. Beetroot, onion, tomato, potato. Oh, we could totally do some ratatouille. Because <laughs> uh, if you notice on my hot bar here, this is like my last steak. <laughs> that's the that's all I've got. Um, so yeah, we need some food badly. And I don't know if cooking for blockheads actually works with... Uh, The Farmer's Delight vlogs, but I'm going to try it and see. <laughs> uh, just to see if it works, uh, because you never know. Um, but in order to, to connect these to those, I need the floor panels. I want to run the flooring all the way over to this side, and that will be how these are connected to the system. Uh, but, let me see, do I have a tile? I don't have a tile. Uh, I think it's called kitchen tile. Yeah. We need to make the kitchen floor. But it takes uh, blocks of quartz and blocks of coal or white concrete powder and black concrete powder. Um, we could do it this way. I mean, you get 12. 
and it would be a lot easier than Well, I don't know. It's just sand and gravel. Uh, how do you make the black? It's just the same recipe with a black dye. Yeah, I think we can do that. I don't need this. Uh-oh. Bad things are going to happen. Sleep. Look at that. Isn't that just a great view? We got these two huge ancient trees. We got the golden leaves. I did add a third tree in there. So we got some gold leaves uh, on standby. Looks pretty good. I need to clean up this area here. Also, I need to go ahead and take this waypoint away. Look, you can see the the ritual over there. I wish the trees, the ancient trees, had their leaves uh, ink or something. You can see the Botania ring here. That looks pretty cool. There's our little Whirly Street farm. I also want to get a whirly sprig for the animals. No, I think I think it's a drink me for the animals. It's a whirly sprig for the tree farm, which I might try and set up over here since that's basically where my tree farm is. I just chopped down a couple things. That would be a good thing to like set up actually right now. Um but I don't have the drink me charm or anything ready to go. Uh, there are still tons of things I want to do. These are all on my list. Oh, but let's try and get some of this ratatouille uh, going. But I do, I do definitely want to see if that uh, kitchen mod will connect with the farmer's delight that would be really cool if it did so i need to come down here and get oh i don't have any gravel in there so let's grab some gravel out and then we do have some sand oh why did it just Oh, it just stole all my sand out of there, I think. Yeah, <laughs> that's crazy. Um, okay, so it only took the stuff from uh, the one because I shift clicked on it with that doodad in my hand. Okay, so we need like one white dye and one Actually, we got some mystical black petals right here. I need to get this sorted out. I need to get this to be a bigger chest. And Dire Wolf came out with the mod, the mod filters. So I need to get those set up as well. And this chest will get sorted mostly. Uh, there's our black dye. And I think I'm all. I'm all out of bone meal. I don't have any bone mm -hmm. meal at all on me. And oh, nope. A boot. Black and a white. And let's do black concrete powder. And then, I guess I don't really need that. It's just an easy recipe. Eight white concrete. Now I should be able to 
go down there and toss them on my conveyor belt and that would work uh, I could well, check this out this would be kind of cool I could make you select you and then Oh, it's get, it takes it a while, I guess. White concrete powder. Maybe if I add a couple of them. <laughs> Want to do the grass? Aha! White concrete. That was all of it. Now I want to put the black one. Ah, here's another one. I think no, that one's not it. Let's line you up. Oh, line that one up. Forgot about the one that I had over there. So I need to get that one back. Actually, uh, oop. Um, let's see, we'll put it down here, then we'll select our black one again, and it going. I think that's it. Okay, that is it. I suppose that just takes time now. I think this one converted. Yes. But now I need to get some dirt so I can replace those dirt. Aha! I think we have, nope, we only have one more black concrete. <gasps> Look at it! Now we can make one of these. I think I need five to get them connected, so I need another one. None of these guys are ready. Uh, but I really, I really, really need this stuff. Um, I guess while that's doing that, I can come in here and make up a few bowls, I guess. Like at least a couple of stacks of bowls. Maybe we'll do eight, eight logs worth of bowls. That sounds good. Um, oh! Whole stack to 40. Uh, maybe I'll make a whole stack then. And there we go. We got a whole stack of bowls ready for our food. Can't wait to see if this works together and nothing, nothing is done. All right, well, I don't want to just stand around waiting for that. So let's go in there and see about making some ratatouille because I'm getting, I'm getting hungry <laughs> and I have one steak left. So let's put all our bowls in there. Oh, dude, I just thought. We could, uh, like, just make a whole bunch of bowls and stick them in the system and tell it to keep the bowls in here. That would be super cool. Alright, let's put down the kitchen floor that we have. And it has to connect to this guy. Or to this side, anyway. 
So let's get the ones on the end connected, one underneath, and then all we need is the one right there to connect them up and see if that works. Uh, so what did we need? We needed two, we needed tomatoes, uh, onions, beets, and Tomatoes, onion, beets, and some other vegetable. Uh, it can be potatoes. I think I would want to use the potatoes because uh, I have 98 of them. So I have, you know, most of the potatoes. So let's just grab, like, we would do a half a stack. So we'll put our potatoes in there. We need onions. Yeah, we got thirty-two onions. Oh yeah, look at that. We got thirty-two tomatoes and thirty-two beets. Yes, we're gonna have food. Food! <laughs> yes! We can eat our steak. Oh, so delicious. And get some ratatouille. I don't know how much those stack to. Hopefully they stack at least a 16, maybe. They do stack. Um, and we can just throw our potatoes back in there that we didn't use. Oh yes, getting the good food. I needed this so bad. Um, I definitely want to get that Rigby set up to take care of the animals and then that would get us you know, meat coming in to where we could make some of these. Uh, and it might be a good idea to get piggies because we could get smoked ham from a large cut of meat from a pig or hogwarts leg. You will need something lighter than a sword to cut one. Um, I don't know what that means. So hopefully these stack over eight, and that will be, oh, yes. So that means they at least stack to 16, which is really good. Um, you know what? I don't really, oops, I don't really need that. Since I was able to, I was going to connect it with the kitchen floor over here so I dug out all this stuff around it to, to kind of leave the kitchen floor over there but um, I decided to go with the stalker uh, stalker way first <laughs> uh, it just seemed a little bit easier all right now we got a couple more and we'll find out if it'll stack over 16 but i don't think it will because in my ocean block whenever i made food in this it generally seemed to stack to 16. Uh, so come on give me one more see if it stacks and i hope my tiles are done. Yep, that's what. That's okay. Um, yeah, I still need my exchanger. Let's go see if this is done because I would definitely like to find out if that connects. <laughs> that would be really cool if it does. Uh -oh. I'm just saying, it, it would be really cool. Oh, what? Oh, there's a skeleton over here. A nasty skeleton. Oh! What? He's got... 
Oh, he took my mage boots off, the little turd head. Did you see that? Blew up my ground. Yeah. Oh, look. See, this the nasty skeletons are what is breaking my mob system. Uh, that's why I had to double up on that stuff. Just to make it where they can't get out on the loose. This is still powder. None of it has changed. Did I do it wrong? Aha! Uh, dirt. Hmm. Oh, that one's done. Uh, this one might not work because that's not near the water. Uh. Boy, he really tried to get me, didn't he? I didn't even know where he came from. Aha! Oh, I want to eat my dirt back. Those two changed. Now I need one more white. No, I don't need one more white. Oh, we can do this. Oh, I, I didn't place the black powder down. Oh, it's the dirt. Dirt, we need you back. <laughs> I placed the wrong one down. Black concrete. There we go. Now we can go finish that setup and see if this is going to work. That would be really cool if it does. All right. Let's see. Did it add anything to it? It didn't appear to. We should at least be able to oh maybe it's not seeing that we can make it because we don't have oh we do have bowls do have bowls in there i forgot about that so it doesn't look like it works or does it have to be connected to the cooking pot itself um we have three, so I could try that. I'll fix that later. Uh, did that do anything? No. Okay, so it doesn't look like it connects with the farmer's delight stuff which is sad um i'm i was hoping that it would at least connect with the cutting board like um because that's from farmer's delight and that's where you get all your your meat goodies we might have to have some way to automate uh the slicing of the meat the meats and stuff so that we can uh, get all of our food stuff taken care of actually i can put these away oh yeah so we got some food i'm so happy um let's put the powder away too. We'll probably use that for some more of these nectars. 
that was how I was going to connect one side to the other, but these are not working. Um, I can at least get like some sort of dispenser uh, to right click the cutting board and I don't know is a you need a hopper or some sort of way to place it in there. We do have a lot of options of placing locks. So lock placer. Uh, Dude, I can do it with magic, but I don't know if you could place, I know it will place a block in the world. I'm not sure if it will interact. I think there's a special glyph for that. So we might have to get another glyph. I think it's not exchange. I think it's actually glyph of interact. There's item pickup. We might actually have to have that. Uh, heal. There. Let's interact. We'll shift for more info. Interacts with blocks or entities as, as if it were a player. Useful for reaching levers, chests, or animals. So we might have to get that. If we wanted to do it magically, um, yeah, shift places blocks from the caster's inventory. If a player is casting this, this spell will place blocks from the hot bar first. Um, and we already have this. And I know that when it places it, if you put a chest next to the turret, it will pull from that chest. So we can definitely do that uh, with the place blocks. I'm assuming that the interact would be the same. Like if we placed a chest next to it, it would uh, use the items in that to interact. Hopefully, hopefully, uh, that's just some ideas. I might, I might try and set up a spell turret to uh, process our meats for us. Um, then we could sort of have a separate ender chest system set up that only sends the meat into that system, and then it could then chop it all up and send it back to our kitchen, ready to be prepared further. <laughs> At least that's that's the dream, man. I need food. Uh, this ratatouille is good, but it, it's got no meat to it. Like, I need sustenance. Like, this honey glazed ham looks really good. And a shepherd's pie, a fried rice, roast chicken, and a hamburger. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This, uh, yeah, I would definitely like to try out some of these teas as well. <clears throat> um, I was marking down all of the different wild uh, produce that appears in the world so I could make sure that I got all of the seeds from them. Because uh, I wasn't sure if those would appear otherwise, but I think I have all of these guys, so we can take those away. Um, these colonies can be grown on, it's the special, they're special dirt from Farmer's Delight. It's called organic compost, but if you make this, you can place mushrooms on it and it can grow into colonies, which will give you four or five mushrooms instead of just one. So that's what that is. Um, and the cheese, I don't know how to get tea seeds. I haven't seen 
maybe coffee berries or tea seeds or yellow tea leaves or black tea leaves or rose hips. Oh, you can make rose hips by cutting up the rose bush on there, so that's good to know. But I don't know about the tea leaves uh, or the coffee. I haven't seen any of that. So what can we do with the rose hips? can make rose hip pie and that it oh you can make rose hip tea and it heals one heart hey that is pretty cool this is uh in a kettle oh it's got a kettle uh but i don't have any i guess i could make the rose hip tea how would you make it it's some copper electric. We can totally do this. I wonder if it has to. Oh, I bet it's got to go on top of one of these stoves. Yeah, I have an empty one here. Oh man, it's always getting night. Holy cow. Um, <laughs> I didn't realize I've been going on for so long. It is definitely time to end the episode. I will tinker around with my kitchen some more because still I have 32 ratatouille but uh, be surprised how quickly that goes when you're running around all over the place. So yeah, I will tinker around with my little uh, test kitchen set up here. Uh oh. Uh, that doesn't sound like a good day. So, yeah, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye!